And I just want to um, also just, you know, mention that to, you know, to people that are, that are setting up trust when they're young, um, but also to parent or parents and grandparents that are thinking of their children and their grandchildren um, is that the nice thing about trust is, is that they're, they're fully customizable. And so when you go through, you know, a very lengthy questionnaire <laughs> that talks about your wishes, um, you know, the two things that you want to think about um, is, you know, control and the financial aspects when you're thinking of your beneficiaries as far as who's going to get um, your assets and and the people that are the beneficiaries. In many cases, you know, kids or grandkids, depending upon who's doing the trust. And those individuals can be can be different. So, you know, if you have little ones and you're like, wow, my sister would be amazing at raising my kids, but she's not known for keeping a balanced checkbook. <laughs> That kind of worries me, you know, though the individual that takes care of the financial aspect of, of helping to care for the kids can be an entirely different person. It could be, you know, your brother-in-law who's a financial planner. Okay. He's going to, you know, he's going to handle the income of making sure that my sister has enough money to take care of my kids because she's the nurturing parent that I want to replace me, but I don't want to have to worry about them, you know, being in a box by the by the highway. <laughs> it's like, so, you know, you can split over control and financial aspects to that um, whenever you're thinking about a, a beneficiary. And the same is true. And I talk to a lot of seniors, um, which is funny now, because that's, you know, really close to my age as well now, <laughs> of, you know, when you think of your kids and, and who you want or your friends or, or other family members that you want to have your assets when you're gone, not everybody is responsible in life at the same age. And so it, you know, and even if you're thinking of little ones, you don't have to have it set up to where they get to inherit, you know, when they're 21. If, if you have two kids that, you know, one of them is just, you know, that the instant that they get their hands on money, that it's going to be gone. And they're not really going to have anything for a future. You know, you can tie to inheritance um, and gifting at different life events or different ages. 